in hotels. I had pen and a COVID time. I couldn't do my name. I had the ability to turn your man to walk out. I had GQ travel with a special offer. The year came in and they said, Who said? I'm going to go to the airport and check in. I'm going to go to the airport. I'm going to go to the airport. Ghana phobia, or be out to cry, be as auto take it to one to take it to a home. Online check in, I'm a bro, how ne at it be a end. What the answer of the was a poor plus four nine six eight one three eight three eight two eight zero. Who was a poor yet now? Cassa online check in, you make a near yam or bro, how ne at it be. Say a young COVID feast, not so child Ghana. Let me see the child in swa. You can travel with us, but I am COVID, actual COVID fees in Ghana, my bro, how near to TV. So, your health info so, and I saw you now do airport, I want you four hours and suck one whoopy swa. You can travel with us, but you can uh, online forms, no, I'm out. I can't, you know, I am ready. So, what about Jiki Travel Hotels? So, I'm going to go to Ghana Visa Swa. Jiki Travel Hotels, you're going to go to Ghana Visa Swa. So, I'm going to go to Ghana Passport Swa. Online forms, no, so, you're going to go to Ghana. 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 You're going to go to Jiki Travel Hotels. You're going to go to Ghana. 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 You're going to and today can have a special service for you. And you need to know what's up here. Plus 491 681 3838 280. And you need to see GK Travel Hotels. We are at your service. Stay blessed. So, what can I now call? If you ask me, I don't know. So, what Germany land? Always come to my DM to ask me, Derek, I won't travel. Ghana make hat, bro. Charlie, Ghana hat. Things not go well for Ghana. Charlie, bro, can you help me? I need invitation. I need this. I need that. What I want to say today is that a lot of people want to travel. Don't get me wrong. But before you travel out of Africa, or me, let me use Ghana because I'm a Ghanaian. Before you travel or you think of traveling, one, have a purpose of traveling. Ask yourself, why do you want to travel? What is the reason for you thinking of me? I'm going to Dubai. I'm going to Canada. We better me call US. Have a purpose before you travel. Don't just travel because Charlie Ghana yet the intimate because I brought you. Because I caught you. Obisi I brought you No, 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 no. You can still live in Europe and you'll be struggling. You can live in Europe and things will get worse for you. Traveling is good, but have a purpose for traveling. A lot of people are able to save money, save money, save money sell their property just to get a visa and buy a ticket and say me call europe some people travel just because they want to prove to somebody that i've sat in an airplane and i've traveled before that shouldn't be your main motive no travel with a purpose have a purpose why am i traveling i'm traveling to go steady i am traveling to go do business i am traveling to go do... if you are traveling and you won't gain anything from it master madam don't travel just sit home if you are going to travel and you won't gain anything. You won't benefit from that traveling. Don't go. Don't waste your money. It's good to go for holidays. But what? why do you want to go for holidays? Okay. documentary. Have a reason for traveling. Don't travel because... OBC Italia brought you. They brought you. Then Tuba brought you. They brought you. They fine. Hey. Do you know the number of Ghanaians living in Europe who are struggling? Do you know the number of Ghanaians who are living in Europe that things are not getting on with them well? You have no idea. So before you travel, make your research. Have a research. I'm going to UK. What is the purpose of me going? Okay, So what do I need to get this and get that? Don't travel before you plan. No, plan before you travel. There are a lot of people who travel before they plan. When they get to their destination, before, oh, No, no. Do your research. You see, one thing about Africans or some Africans is that they don't like reading. They always want people to tell them, no. Sometimes read. You want to travel to UK. Read about the country. Do your research. Know what you need. Don't wait for somebody to come and tell you, I brought you there. I brought you there. I brought you there. I brought you there. A lot of Ghanaians are struggling in Europe today because they don't have their papers. They don't have their inkrata. They don't have their papers. They don't have their documents. The right to stay is a problem. That is why some of you, you have family members who have lived in Europe for five years, six years, and they have never thought of coming back home. 
They have never thought of coming to Ghana for holidays one day. When you ask them, hey, dad, bro, uncle, that Ben Albert, but they always give you an excuse. And I'm here busy. Charlie, and you say me person, but I'm here busy. Only me, human, not. Some of them can't tell you the truth. Some of them cannot be bold to tell you the truth that Charlie, I brought you that meet and then you're easy. Me need crack. I'm not a mean person, me, but I don't have my papers. That is why I cannot come home. And I don't blame them. I blame some Ghanaians living in Europe, especially. Why Bettina Brochi? Why Juma? Some of them work so hard, you ask yourself whether they are machines even or they are robots. We go on a patu to us Italy. We go for about four hours. We are not going two hours. And we make go five hours. Be one hundred. We are not going to So any time you see them, they are working. Four hours, two hours, four hours, three hours here. We are going cleaning. We are going to not the best. Not the best. They work. They make the money. But the question is, are they able to spend the money? No. Because you don't have your papers. So some of them, when they work, the money goes to somebody's account. Some of them will tell their fellow Ghanaians, say, oh, Charlie, bro, when him say me need in Krata, and so they might be uh, bank account, saying, yeah, wait, wait, wait. And some Ghanaians are wicked. Some Ghanaians are wicked, though. Hey, some people are wicked, I swear to God. They are wicked. Why can't you help your fellow Ghanaian? Why can't you help your fellow brother? Why can't you do good for your fellow brother? Why can't you do good? Some of them, they work so hard. When the money goes into somebody's account, the person does not want to give the money to them. The person doesn't want to give the money to them. At the end of the day, second one, my account. Some people make over 1,000, 200, 1,300. And then when the money goes into somebody's account because they don't have documents, the person will take about 200. Or now, oh, my 300 will move. There are some Ghanaians who abuse other Ghanaians who don't have immigration status because they know they can threaten you with only a crowd. I'm for immigration. I'm out. We are for police. I'm out. And if anybody should call police or immigration for you, which means they do buy fee. So some of them, they work hard, but they don't see their money because some Ghanaians are not treating them well. Why can't you help your fellow brother? The person will work, the person will sweat for their money, then who deal off a second because you are helping the person. Why can't you help somebody genuinely for once? For once. That is why in Europe, me, I say we don't we don't do family in Europe, oh, sister, brother. If you don't come and hustle hard, work hard to make your money to better your life. Listen, we don't do families here. Because the family that is supposed to help you are the ones that are even killing you in Europe. The family. Your family that is supposed to help you. That is supposed to support you and assist you. They are the ones even killing you. So in Europe, we don't have anything like... Oh, and I, eh, me dey me bra bit a brochure. See me bob bob one me. I say, oh, me dey me bob brochure. Eh, Johnny, dey any problem? Juma, any problem? Please don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. Always have a plan B. It's very important. Have a plan B. So you see, always have a plan B. So that you know, say, Charlie, I brought you now, make one, so I'm going to pay me what, plan B. Because, Charlie, the, 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 the hardship some Ghanaians are going through, some of you, your aunties, you see them in the morning, they'll be running, chasing bus, because they have to get to work on time. Some people are working hard. Hey, some people are working hard, though. So some of you, when you sit back in Ghana and you are cursing your family members in Abroach, you say, and I'm a sister cry, me bra cry, who be sunny sick, I cry on my own. You don't know what they are going through. Some of them, they cannot be bold to come and tell you, say, oh, ABI, I in Kata and I mean I don't have this, I don't have that, I'm struggling. Because you believe them, because some of you have the motive that, oh, Charlie, I'm pa uko abrochi dear Charlie, Uben Yasika. No, no, quick. You know how many Ghanaians that have the mentality that when they came to Europe, they will make money. And today, what they are saying is even different from what they had. So before you travel from Ghana, I mean, let me tell you the honest truth. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you have your money. Don't travel empty. Some of you, because you have a family member here. Oh, so I have a family member. So when you are going, you travel empty. Hey, Ubesu. At least when you are coming to UK, have at least thousand pounds on your two thousand pounds in your pocket. Just in case. When you get to Europe and the person disappoints you, you have some money to sort out your hotel, 
something. But don't travel and say, oh, hey, 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 my, hey, 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 hey. Sometimes I don't blame Ghanaians living in... You see, sometimes you have to blame yourself. There are a lot of Ghanaians who work hard here. Instead of them focusing on getting their papers, getting their documents, they will tell you, say, oh, me, them, me, see, fear, we Ghana. Oh, me, them, me, see, can, them, me, Dakota, fear, we Ghana. Oh, me, them, me, the year business, we Ghana. Oh, me, them, me, the year, see. It is good to work and save and build a house in Ghana. But... Who are out in Abruchi? Who need papers? You don't have your papers in Abruchi. Who need Krata? Obewolo. Instead of you working and using that money to fight and get your papers so that life will become easy for you, you are rather building house in Ghana. Now, if you now who see what Ghana, Nika, you even get the chance to even go and live there. You only see pictures of it. You only see pictures of it. Oh, Messi Fie or Ghana. Hey, Nada Ben Abeko Ghana. Oh, in Chebia. But they will never ever step there because they don't have the paper. They don't have the documents. Brothers and sisters living in Europe. Salimumbi, Nyakbele Anya Ingme. Kafe Bulu. Kani Mokota Ghana ne Kebake. Bake. Eh, na Umbe Si Fie. Na Wakot na Abroti Be. Ten years, five years. Umbe Si Fie or Ghana. Do the need for thing. Do the need for thing. Do the need for thing. Work hard. Make sure you fight. It's not easy to get your papers in Europe, especially UK. It's not easy. But work hard. Save and make sure you get your papers. When you have your papers, ask people who have their documents. Life becomes very easy for you. But no, you work hard and you send the money to Ghana. I'm building a house. I've, I've bought a plot and I'm doing business. At the end of the day, you're not even able to travel there. Eh, Jimmy? Eh, Jimmy? Eh, Jimmy? Some of them... Because they don't have papers, when they see police car pass, they cannot move him. There are a lot of Ghanaians who don't have their papers. When they are going somewhere, there's trouble. You see the way they will run and go home quick. Because Ali Ebebe, sir, what is your name? What is your details? You don't have it. So, me, my advice to Ghanaians living in the UK is that if you know you don't have your documents, you don't have your papers, you don't have your stay, when you work hard, instead of sending the money to family, sending money back home to build house, to do listen fight for your papers work for your papers because you are here people back home don't know the the struggle that you are going through people don't know the hustle that you are going through some of them don't know that somebody is chopping your money because you don't have papers some of your family members back home they don't know somebody is threatening you that when they spend your money they will call immigration for you so why sap you can build a very big you've built a very big house in ghana and you are in the UK, you can't go home because you don't have a character. Fight for your papers. Because let me tell you, if you don't have your papers, there are certain things you will never enjoy in the United Kingdom. That one is for a fact. You don't have some so money papers, so much maybe a bank account. No. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, traveling is good, but have a purpose, have a reason. Why do you want to travel? Who are you going to? Make sure you've done all this research before you even think of me too quiet. Because some of them, some of them, until you get here, you will know that hair abroti and easy. Real man, real man, just DM me. Some of them will tell you all the sweet words, but when you get to UK, Europe, then you know that hey, in the case of the dead now catch him in your it was just over the bar. They'll tell you nice things that you need to hear. Oh, don't worry, I brought you the Obama show. I brought you by only probably the Obama. Listen, there are some family members when you come to Europe, they give you grace period of two months, three months. If you are not able, if you are not able to support them, help them contribute with rent, contribute with money to pay electricity and gas, after three months, they will sack you from the house. Your own family members will sack you from the house. I bet what you say, yeah, they are grow. Your own family members that your uncle told you, say, oh, they about any problem. You wait and stay with them for three months and don't contribute even 100 pounds. They will sack you from the house. They will sack you from the house and they will tell you, say, why are you your life? You have your life. <laughs> they will tell you, go and do your life. Go and make your life. So, Europe, don't have the mentality, say, Oh, the person who free Ghana. 
You want to leave Ghana and come to UK because somebody said, oh, UK, there, Juma Waha, we were. Yes, there are opportunities here. But if you don't have the Inkrata or the Benjas opportunity, no, what's the purpose? So fight hard, work hard. Don't be sitting in Ghana and be complaining. Ghana is hard, Ghana is hard. Mm, Ghana is hard, Ghana is hard, fine, but people are still making it. You are there saying Ghana is hard, Ghana is hard. Have you made an effort, say, oh, okay, Ghana is hard, but let me also try something. Some people are just saying Ghana is sad and they are not even trying anything for themselves. You, you are there saying Ghana is sad and the government is not doing anything. And Nana Kufado is not doing nothing for us. And then, then, but have you tried to do something for yourself that is not working? Some people are just lazy. Some people are just lazy. All they know how to do is eat, sleep, shit. And that's it. Eat, sleep, shit. That is what they know. But they also come and open their mouth eh, and, you know, fix the country. Eh, the country is not going well. You have to fix the country and our country. You to fix your attitude and fix your life. Fix your life. Fix your character. Fix yourself before you think of fixing the country. You are thinking of fixing the country when you cannot even fix your own life. And the government is not doing this. And I'm buying in this. And I'm buying. But when you check your life, you yourself, when you sit down and you look at yourself from head to toe and you look at your life, you, you look at the way you're, 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 you know, you know that for sure you need to fix yourself. You need to fix your own life. Fix yourself. Things are changing. Welcome to, a, a, welcome to the world where now when you don't have money there, it's so don't cut equation anymore. Right now, when you don't have money, it's like you have no power. When you don't have money, you have no respect. Some of you living in Europe, your family members don't respect you, Bakupo, because since you traveled from Ghana to wherever, wherever you are, you have never sent them 100 cities before. So they don't respect you. Some of them don't respect you. Some of them, they don't respect you. Some people don't respect you. Listen, me, my advice to people out there is that before you point finger at somebody, eh, before you point finger at somebody, take your time and find out what they are going through. It's not easy. Abroaching is not easy. Before you open your mouth, eh, Sammy auntie now to abroaching, eh, Sammy uncle now to abroaching, Sammy sister now to abroaching, Nitimwe dim papa, or no unchad ye, or no be sana dear crown feel. Hey, do you know what that person is going through? Do you know what that person is going through? Sometimes, have patience. When you ask somebody to do something for you, when you ask somebody to do something for you, have patience. Have that big heart to have patience. Because listen, life is a choice. A lot of people miss opportunities because they don't have patience. If somebody wants to help you, it's a choice. It's not a force. Some of you, it's your character and your attitude that has made you fall out with a lot of people. Like I keep on saying that your character and your attitude your character is like pregnancy you cannot hide it your character is like pregnancy you can never hide it respect yourself your character is very important you see how you relate to people how you treat people is the same way they'll treat you don't treat don't don't feel so oh dear uh, do you know me me i'm a big boy a lot of Ghanaians, when they are in Europe, they feel they are better. Some of you are living in Ghana, yeah? Some of you. Mumu to Ghana, but you are far better than somebody living in Europe. Some of you. Some of you in Ghana. You are far, far better than somebody who has lived in Europe five years. So, some of you in Ghana, the, the amount of money you have in your account. So don't let somebody make you feel safe. And I'll belittle you. Listen. Traveling does not make one successful. Traveling, it doesn't make anybody successful. It's how smart you are. Traveling doesn't make... Well, some, some people travel from Ghana to UK and they feel like right now they are top of the world. They are better than you. They have than you. So when they cough, you have to listen. Hey, my sister. My sister. Charlie. The fact that you've not traveled doesn't mean you are, far, you, are, you are even far better than somebody living in Europe. But